In the last lecture, we saw the Ethernet cable descriptions, and in this lecture, we will see the categories of unshielded twisted pair cable, that is the UTP. UTP cable is rated in the following categories. So make sure you have all your eyes and ears wide open and focus on the categories of UTP cable. Category one: two twisted wire pairs. which means total four wires now category 1 is the oldest type and it is the only voice grade which isn't rated for data communication people refer to it as a plain old telephone service that is pots and before 1983 this was the standard cable used throughout the north american telephone system POTS cable still exists in some parts of the public switched telephone network that is the PSTN and supports signals limited to the 1 megahertz frequency range now category word is often shortened to word cat today any cable installed should be a minimum of cat 5e let us see what are the different more categories of UTP cable category 2 that is cat 2 again there are in this type of cable there are four twisted wire pairs see four pairs which is equivalent to eight wires it handles up to 4 megabits per second with a frequency limitation of 10 megahertz and it is now obsolete no one literally uses category 1 and category 2 category 3 four twisted wire pairs with three twists per foot now this type can handle transmissions up to 16 megahertz it was popular in the mid 1980s for pop up up to 10 megabits per second ethernet but now category 3 is limited only to telecommunication equipment and again it is obsolete for the networks then comes category 4 uh, it contains four twisted pairs that is eight wires for 20 megahertz and 16 megabits per second so as you can see as the category number is increasing so is the number of data transfer and the frequency range category 5 has four twisted pair wires that is eight wires used for 100 base tx that is two pair wiring and rated for 100 megahertz but why we use cat5 when you can use cat5e for the same price i'm not sure you can even buy plain cat5 anymore so what is so special in cat5e now e stands for the enhanced category of category 5 twisted pair cable Category five E has four twisted wire pairs, which means eight wires in total, recommended for one thousand base T, that is one thousand megabits per second, which is almost equivalent to one GB per second. Uh, any category below five E shouldn't be used in today's network environments. Next comes category six. Category six has four twisted pairs, which means eight wires, which is used for one thousand base TX and rated for two fifty megahertz. Cat six became a standard back in June two thousand two, and you would usually use it as a riser cable to connect flows together. There are two more types of categories: category six A, that is A stands for augmented, and category seven. now category 6a has uh, is an augmented category of the previous version that is category 6 and it is characterized to 500 megahertz and has a few improved crosstalk characteristics which allows 10 gigabits of per second to be transferred at a frequency range of 500 megahertz category 7 is not that recognized and category 7 is not that common and hence for this course 
I would not like to enhance and enlighten you about category seven anymore. Uh, now, so now we have seen the different categories of uh, UTP cable, but how to connect the UTP cable? Now, BNC connectors, which we have seen already in the last lecture, won't fit very well on UTP cable. They are used for coaxial cables, and therefore you need a registered jack that is RJ which you are familiar with because most of the telephone connectors are connected using the RGs. The connector used with the UTP cable is called RJ11 which you can see on the screen on the left hand side image and RJ45 has four pairs as seen on the right hand side of the figure. So basically RJ11 has three pairs that is six pin and RJ45 has four pairs that is eight pin. Most of the time UTP uses RJ connectors and you use a crimper to attach them to a cable just as you would use with the BNC connectors. The only difference is that uh, the die that holds the connector is of different shape. So make sure you remember these terminologies that BNC connectors are used for coaxial cables and registered jack that is an RJ connector is used for twisted pair cable. In the next lecture, we will talk about the fiber optic cables in which are employed in your current scenarios network environments.